The outflow of able-bodied and qualified personnel and youth from Russia continues. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Russians' demand for foreign citizenship has soared to record levels. The current wave of emigration is the largest since the 1920s. In the first nine months of 2023, more than 68,000 Russian citizens received residence permits or citizenship of other countries. People are trying to immigrate from the country, just like men who are subject to conscription. All in all, they don't want to mobilize the front, naturally. People who disagree with politics are trying to leave. I don't know, at least for the sake of giving a future to the children. Also, people who realize that the economic situation will not be favorable in the future, especially small and medium-sized businesses. Almost immediately after the start of a full-scale war, leading scientists began to leave Russia. At least two and a half thousand scientists cut ties with Russia. It is much more difficult to do science, participate in international collaborations, publish in scientific journals and gain access to equipment under the sanctions. It is worth talking about some young scientists who live and do absolutely the right thing. This is a new generation that does not watch Channel 1 of Putin's TV, but also receiving information from Internet, although it has become more and more difficult to do lately due to the blocking. Russia is sliding into what it was during the Soviet Union. You cannot create science in a completely closed country. The demographic situation in Russia may lead to a reduction in population to the level of the 19th century. The Federal State Statistics Service reports in the next 20 years the population of the Federation is expected to decline at a rate of 800,000 people per year. And by the middle of the 21st century, Russia may lose more than 15 million people. If we take pessimistic forecasts, which are now becoming more realistic than by the end of the century, there may be from 140 million to 67, 65 million people in Russia in total. This is a problem because the birth rate is falling. In general, in general, there is no such passionate readiness of the population to give birth to children and then send them to war. But the Kremlin regime does not seem to notice the demographic catastrophe. Thus, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov called the emigration of hundreds of thousands of citizens a purging of Russia. He says that people who left the country after the start of the war against Ukraine do not feel involved in the Russian history and culture. Although by the end of 2023, Russia lacks almost 5 million workers. Unsatisfied labor demand has already become a factor that slows down economic growth. Lavrov puts on a good face in a bad situation, and what he calls the purging of Russia, he lies, as he usually does. That is why, probably judging by the press headlines, in Russia they are trying to attract 10 southern Kenyans, creating all sorts of preferences for residents of Central Asia, who also began to leave the Russian Federation. There are not enough people, and when speaking about this purging, Lavrov is simply lying. The program for the resettlement of compatriots within the framework of which Russian citizenship is offered to immigrants from Russia living abroad, as well as their descendants, is rapidly losing popularity. Migration growth decreased by 15 percent in the first half of 2023, compared to the same period of the previous year. Reported by Diana Kolasnik, Yulia Bilyuetevi, News.